on this world of worship fellowship it's monday again meaning we we are here 6 to 8 p.m east african time and we are here to attempt questions about life about god faith religion prophecy bible you name it sex marriage anything that concerns theology apart from politics which we reserve for thursday uh, today we have quite a number of questions from the usual suspect peter peter always sends in his questions during the week so if you are listening to this and you have a question don't wait for monday you can always send it to us so you can send it through the person who share this audio or our phone numbers are available you can always ask and then on monday we'll attempt today we are going to start with Peterson's question uh, last uh, over the last couple of weeks uh, there's been a lawyer in Kenya lawyer quote unquote who was arrested for is it impersonation because he was using someone else's qualifications never mind that he actually went to court and won cases allegedly but that's not the point the point is he never had the formal formal qualifications or the formal schooling so the question then becomes why did why does such a guy have to go to school to do what exactly if he's on the if he's in the field practicing and is winning cases why do why does he need papers but of course the question to ask is why if he didn't need papers why did he have to go and hack into a certain database and masquerade as another who was registered so that he can practice that just means he needed th these papers so we're here to we will start with that question and then we'll proceed and of course there are many examples around us in, in in uganda i think a few years ago there was a kid called fresh kid who had some music talent some people felt this kid should just go and start singing he doesn't need school because what matters is money and so on and so forth so that the debate is has been there and it's, it will go on even after we have left this place. So anyway, I'm going to start with you, Beatrice. I, I think you're in university, if I'm not mistaken. Why are you looking for qualifications? What are you looking for in a university that you cannot get elsewhere? And why do you have to spend your time and money earning that qualification, which other people who never went to school, quote unquote, can, can do? Beatrice, can you go first? yeah okay thank you thank you so much uh well the you, you're asking why i'm at school spending time at school the money at school and yet uh you claim there are many people out there that can actually do what i'm yet to do simply just after school even without them going through the process of school well yes, i don't that think is that is entirely that's what you asked, right? Yes. I don't think that's entirely true because the only issue is people have uh, attached going to school to getting qualifications and that's all. But I think going to school comes with a lot. It comes with a lot. Like besides you getting the documents, it comes with a lot. There's this, the knowledge, even outside the content of uh, of what of what you're actually studying i mean the the people that you get to meet i've seen parents that say uh, i need to take my children to big schools great schools and uh, the reason is not even sometimes not because these schools perform well but because of the 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 people in those schools like the children of the rich that are in those schools because they think by their children associating with those people they 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 get the social capital which is a big deal one of these days so for me i think it is important for me to be in school now not just to to get the qualifications of being a teacher but also being in school comes with getting knowledge getting different skills getting uh to to know people and you get to learn uh, a lot you see for instance uh my being in school i think if i was not in school maybe i shouldn't have I, I I wouldn't have met Peter, but uh, Peter is my teacher. 
but uh, I've learned a lot from him besides just the discourse that he teaches me in class. You know, because it is through Peter that I'm actually on this platform, you see? So I think if people stop associating school with just qualifications and look at the importance of being in school at a wider range, that will be good. That will be good. They should be looking at the other advantages that come along with being in school and not just attaching uh, going to school with getting qualifications. Because first of all, uh, getting the qualifications from school does not mean you have the knowledge of what you've studied one of these days, right? Yeah. People are well, that is it. Mm. Yeah, people have gone to school, they've gotten the qualifications, and yet they do not have that the knowledge. So if uh, back to the question someone asked, which is more important? Is it the qualifications or is it is it the knowledge? I think it is the knowledge. The only issue is sometimes even with the qualifications, when you get to the field and you cannot perform. I think you you lose it. You lose the job. So so in other words, the the police in Kenya is wrong to arrest this guy who can, yeah, who, who to, can practice his law without qualifications. Exactly. Qualification. To me, to me, I think they are wrong. I think they should actually uh, sit him down and use him, use him as an experiment. <laughs> that's that's what I think. They should give it a try. Like how many people out there can go through this process and become professionals at something even without going through the theoretical part of it? Because the qualifications here for, for this guy to, to the qualifications they're talking about are, are literally papers, just documents. Yeah, you what see, you they're, they're just documents. But this guy actually had to go and lie somewhere and he had to impersonate someone with a similar name for him to be able to practice. That, that just means he actually needed those papers. Yeah, yeah, true. Because because that, that, that's what we are going through. That is what, what uh, has been stated. Those are the rules that have been put up for us to follow. Because they're telling you for you to be able to stand in the classroom and teach, you should have the documents that certify you as a teacher. Those are the rules. But I believe there are people out there that can actually just study this content, master the content without going through this entire process. That's what I think. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Beatrice. Mm. Someone else has joined us. I must see my relentless one. Eh, indeed, relentless, even with the microphone. Okay, thank you. <laughs> that, um, I think that too is my student. <laughs> yeah, I think. Thank you for inviting your, stu <laughs> your relentless students, Peter. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay, let me cross over to the next person. Uh, relentless one, you're welcome. We're answering a question about knowledge and qualifications. Which one is more important? As asked by Pedson. Okay. And maybe let me first give Pedson a chance to expound on what he was what he was arguing before on, on WhatsApp somewhere. Pedson, would you answer hey. something? Uh, no, you've uh, you've mm. explained it well. We we are just debating on uh, on what's more important: is it the knowledge or the the skills? And uh, sorry, the knowledge or the qualifications? And the example that we're drawing is the example of uh, of, of the Kenyan lawyer who who has the knowledge. And the question is, does he still need the the qualifications? Yeah, that was. Uh, that was uh, that. That's the argument, and of course, some people are saying, "No, the guy has to have, has to have the qualifications." Uh, and 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 okay, the qualifications are much important because that's actually the reason. That's what they base on to, to give people jobs. Eh? Not 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 the, the knowledge, but the qualifications. Mm. Yeah, because when they are. When 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 you're being in when you're being when you're being shortlisted, what they check on your CV is uh, is is your experience, which you can actually coach if you come and say that I worked in a in a company limited for fifteen years, 
even if they come and verify and you put referees, they will, they, the guy was working and he was performing well. But one of the things that is not easy to to manipulate is is the qualifications. And 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 usually employers uh, look at the qualifications to hire most cases. Eh? So the the question is, what's so important? Is it the knowledge or the or, or the or, 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 or the knowledge, the qualifications or the knowledge? Okay, thank you, Ped. Uh, Bob, can you talk? I guess the, 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 the entire yeah. question is even about education in a nutshell. How, how should we... Can, can ah. education be measured? Can education be measured? Because the qualification is a measure, or is supposed to be a measure of either competency uh, or something like that. But now we are saying that measure is, is not necessary. So the question is, can we actually measure education or should we just keep educating an individual until... Anyway, Bob. Um, I think uh, I don't know where to start. It's a, it's a good question, but uh, let me let me just give my view. Uh, knowledge is, is is really most important for me, according to me. If you know how to do something, um, it doesn't matter whether you have a paper for it or not. Okay. But we need to look at these uh, these case scenarios or even different cases individually. When we say um, a guy has been winning cases in this particular case, which we, we are looking at, the example given, um, someone may perturb how has he been winning these cases, okay? I think in the chat somewhere I had uh, given you an exact preamble of how low most of the law in Uganda is practiced. Whoever has the money will win. So um, you have the judge usually names his price. Get me six million and, you know, I'll, I'll crush your case. So how has this guy been winning? Maybe he, he mastered the formula that, okay, all, all I have to do is get enough money to bribe the judge, uh, you know, throw a couple of lines, and then I'm done. And that's how he's been in, been in his cases. And that he's actually not uh, what would say a good lawyer in, in reality, in the real sense. So the issue of... of, of, of that number... Someone is talking. So the issue of no. him uh, be, being able to, to argue out cases, it means he has mastered the skill of knowing what comes first, like, you know, someone has mentored them into that only that they are not having the actual uh, document from the university or whatever. Now, the, 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 the proudness that comes with, if you allow, I'm, I'm now flipping the point, if you allow such a thing to go on, um, people will come up saying that uh, they know how to do stuff and, and, and yet they are just a flout, okay? And, you know, you will lose your case on and all that. Uh, here, even the simplest of jobs, and I'm giving you an example, the common jobs that most of the people who come here to do CHEO do, uh, of Kulavidi Dabakante. Eh? I'm just giving an example. This is not technical. This is not like, doesn't require so much skill. But as a must, okay? And I know because I, I, I know examples uh, I've seen, you must do, even when you come from the minimum requirement for you is not even a, a senior four or a P7. You must, whether you have a university degree or you have a PhD, because many people have come here, they've thrown away their PhDs and gone into Kula with their Because it's paying them money, you know, and uh, they are able to build their kids in Kampala. But you must do at least 85 hours of training by a qualified institution. 85 hours. And this is usually, this usually uh, it takes place within two to three weeks. And they give you a certificate that now you are able to actually collab with But you know what is complicated about collab with Abakad? You know, Kubasi Mula, Kubajira, Kubachi, support you, you, you know, dating them. I mean, you would think, oh, anyone can do that. But they have to, you, without that certificate of, of two to three weeks of training, no company will allow you to support a collab with So, 
uh, why I'm bringing this up for issues of there's, there's, there has to be, I mean, there's about, uh, which one do I want to use? Um, the, the law, the system, and uh, and being able to, to, to track and regulate, that those those are the things that come with, the, with with having you to show a paper for it. Yeah, so if they can set uh, a, a, a small kind of training, even for the minimum jobs, definitely even the high profile or professional jobs need some form of training. Now, the documentation of that training is what we may we may argue about. We know artists who have sat at the foot of, you know, Leonardo da Vinci or Michelangelo or all these guys who are, who are very good artists, never mentoring another person. It's not a school, but they are watching, okay? And there's that documentation, okay? So we know that uh, maybe that's, that's, the, that's the, the kind of line we want to take even with law or these things that if we know that there's a prominent lawyer who kind of mentors another person such that they know what to do and then <laughs> maybe they can be allowed to do what they do. So that's my comment. Thank you, Bob. Bob has given us an example from where he lives in the western one of the western countries he says he's been taking care of old people and requires training for at least 85 hours meaning i mean and he said these are just old people really what what is so special about them <laughs> but <laughs> I, I would also you know extend that to the, the children what does taking care of children does it require a qualification and i know nani is one of the best paid people even in the western world because again, they need certain uh, qualifications. Anyway, um, well, Peter, you previously made an argument about educating the hands, the head, and the heart. I don't know if you want to start from there or you want to go yeah. to a different direction. Thank you, moderator. Uh, may, I, may I possibly ask uh, for the newcomers to go first? Uh, given opportunity, we the the old timers can come last. Uh, may I please? Okay, if if they can talk, I will see my relentless one. I see your comment in the chat. I really love to be part of this. Glad to be here. Back to the debate. Personally, I would value skills than knowledge. Everyone can have knowledge, but skills not everyone's making. What What do you mean? Can you expound? Switch on your mic and expound on what you mean. Amosima. I guess you can't talk. Who else is new? Beatrice has already submitted. Uh, Nathan, somebody called Nathan has dropped off. So yeah, I guess we're back to the old timers. Maybe maybe let me, let me go to AB because AB, AB today are not driving, sure. Can you say something about qualifications and Maybe. Um, I think uh, qualifications versus uh, knowledge is quite relative eh? because uh, mm. I've seen people qualify for so much and then they go into what they are knowledgeable about. And uh, there's even a real life story. I know a friend who qualified in uh, finance has CPA, work, CFA, name it. But uh, knowledge-wise, he's actually practicing software engineering. And he literally just read books, went online, YouTube videos, ETC. And with this current world of certifications and what, really, much as you qualify for something and you've studied for it, these days we are going so much into certifications. What skill are you certified with? Let's say um, there is PMP, project management, there is uh, SAP now, there is so much to certify on. So I think, I think it's all about what you can even adopt and what you're passionate about. Because there are so many doctors who have put degrees on the wall and now they are musicians. So we should also factor that in. 
but as long as you can grasp onto something you're passionate about and you're very knowledgeable about it, because I don't know whether that lawyer actually won all the cases, the one in, in, uh, in Nairobi, but there was a similar case in Wall Street. There was this brilliant man, I don't know, I think he was called Harvey on Wall Street. That is how he made his money. He was knowledgeable about finance, very, very knowledgeable. Uh, it's, it's a very old tale. He made his money in, in Wall Street, actually, because he was knowledgeable about finance. But um, I would literally take, honestly, knowledge of something, because there are so many qualified people who know, who have learned what to do, but they actually don't know how to do it or how to use that knowledge they gained in class or that qualification they gained to actually practice it in the real world. So yeah, I would uh, cut the Nairobi man some slack. It is actually, the, the, thank you, thank you, Ibi. The Nairobi man actually did not win all those cases. Apparently uh -huh. he messed up so many clients. He messed up and so many clients. Represented them poorly. Uh, makes sense but uh, the person I have seen real life is very good at software and engineering and is making a lot of money online out of it you can imagine yeah but so, that one read, read books him. and all that so he's not <laughs> exactly illiterate in that field anyway exactly. that's my view okay thank you Abby. Isaiah you have previously said in education we don't graduate. So this business of awarding certificates, only complete level one, complete level two, certificates and papers, is that still a measure of education? Should, should education be measured anyway? What do you think? Yeah. Uh... In education, we do not graduate. Uh, it is only in academics where we we, we graduate, and uh, we uh, and even in the academic world, we are given certificates. So, and uh, it is important that uh, uh, an institution such, uh, certificate does not mean that you are qualified in in the open field. I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I do, because if, if, a university, if a university satisfies you, it is based on how you have answered their questions. But that, that does not entail to mean that uh, life outside that institution is going to ask you the same questions. So it is very important for all of you who have those certificates to be humble uh, in life. Because the questions in life are different from uh, the questions at the institution where you got that certificate from. Uh, please, uh, please, uh, please say that again. Please say that again. We're more emphatic. <laughs> I <laughs> hey, thank you, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so, 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 let us put that aside. And I was uh, analyzing the issue of uh, of a certificate. But again, in this whole uh, in this in this whole discussion, there is. Uh, there's the idea of qualification. There's that idea of qualification. And for me, in this whole debate, the key word is qualification. It is really qualification. Uh, both the academic institutions that we've put in place and uh, the practical work in real life must qualify each other. What do I mean by this? What I mean by this is that um, the academic institutions should certify people and send them into the world for the world to qualify the certified. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. However, in the event that the world also has its own candidates, like the lawyer in Kenya, the world also must be humble to send its products to academic institutions for those academic institutions to qualify these candidates. 
it is arrogant to assume. Uh, uh, Mr. Would, 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 please, would you mind say that again, please? <laughs> All universities, and uh, mm. by those I mean the, the academic, institution. institution, the, the academic mm. institutions, mm. should send their certified products to the world for the world to qualify. It is not your university that qualifies you in any profession. No, your university certifies you. So, so, so really, for me, I don't know of anything known as academic qualifications. No, the academic certifications or certificates. You are certified based on the questions that we have asked you. But that does not entail to me that the questions that we have asked you in these institutions are the very questions that the world is going to ask you when you go to the marketplace. So, so on each and every graduation, institutions should remind their students or their graduates that now that we have certified you based on the questions that we have asked you and we have tested you with and by, we are sending you to the world so that you can be qualified in this same field. Mm -hmm. However, the world also is a center of knowledge and skills. They like calling it skills. The skills that you have, for those of you who did not go to school, those skills that you have, okay, must be put on the, on the altar of these academic institutions to be tested conceptually. Because every skill has a process. That process has repetitive patterns that we need to investigate. It has experiments. You cannot celebrate a product without a process. That process must be documented, criticized, challenged, investigated. Because we are not talking about a talent of, uh, of, of, of dribbling the ball in the field. I mean, even that, if you're a football fan like myself, then you'll get to know how deep we have gone into analyzing football. So the world also should send their skilled workers to academic institutions to qualify them. Why does the world find it an offense? When we tell it skilled people to come to the academic world to be qualified and to explain what they do, how they do it, and what it means. So to me, the key word is qualification. The world must qualify the certified. The institutions must qualify the skilled. Because we need we need a working thing. Recently, I was I was I was at the fellowship and telling people that uh, there there are people in Uganda here whom we preach to, and when we open the Bible, then they say, "No, that is the book of the whites. That's not our book. Even that Jesus is of the whites." Guess what? They are right. The black people, the Ethiopians. In, uh, in the Bible, did not actually participate as those who are light skin and red skin. So if someone says that is a white man's book, well, I understand. But my question is, where is the black man's book? Granted, how are we going to question it and how are we going to appreciate it and understand it?
the reason as why some of us believe in this book known as the Bible, aka the white man's book, it is because this book has, has stood the test of, of time, the test of, 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 of criticism. It has been here and it's an open book for everyone to criticize and challenge. But, but tell us, tell us the, the, the theory, the ideology. Give us, give us a process to work with. Where is the process of so that we can extend this from this state to another, so that we can get to know how this worldview answers specific universal worldview questions? No, we are not discussing talent. We are discussing something that's very crucial. You are a lawyer. Yes, you have won 26 cases. I do not even want to go into the, the, the nitty gritties of, uh, you know, how you won those 26 cases. I don't want to go into that. But you are not in a skill-oriented field. You are in a philosophical oriented oriented area and field so we are asking you can you please come and participate in this philosophical arena i know me i know how to win cases but you you did not invent law you're not inventing the wheel so 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 Ladies and gentlemen, for me, I think that uh, if if Lionel Messi and Cristiano Ronaldo have managers on the pitch who cannot play like they play, then I think skills must be qualified. And uh, I still present that your certificates that you got from the university and those of us who are about to get even other certificates from universities, we must make sure that these certificates are also qualified. How are they qualified in the world? By answering different questions in the world. Because we were certified based on the questions that were asked by these institutions. But we also need to be qualified by answering the same questions or the different questions in the world where we are and where we are exercising that. To me, that is what I think. Thank you, moderator. Yes, Hello. Mr. Moderator. Struggling with this. Uh... Uh, yes, Petson. Uh, Petson, do you have something to add uh, to the pre current speaker? Yes, Peter. Hello, Peter. Having now. Hello. Yes, you'd say that he's driving now, but we can continue. Okay. Okay, no, I was uh, I was inviting Petson if he has something to add to that. Uh, okay. you... yeah. Yes, Petson. Okay. All right. Do do we have any other addition to that? Um, uh, feel free, uh, Tom. Do you have anything to add to that? No, I, I've just joined. I don't know what you're discussing, so I, I don't think I have a okay. position to say anything at, at this point. All right. Uh, all right. Uh, yes, uh, 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 yes uh, uh, Pastor White, um, what, what would you say about the, the, the mindset that because it works, therefore it is right? Because one of the underlying claims in this question is that uh, as long as it works, therefore it is right. As long as it works, therefore it is appropriate. Then, 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 then I would Hello? ask. Yes, Hello? please. Hello? <laughs> yeah, yes, 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 please. Uh, yes, uh, sorry, sorry. Dina has put in here for site so I was uh, speaking and you're getting me. But what has, uh, this is the thing about, uh, about this education, eh? okay, the 
the, the institutions that are, are transferring knowledge or impacting knowledge is uh, is that that the is that sometimes their theories, first of all, their theories were begun by certain people. That's why even some universities are named after certain people. Like uh, I think the, the, the greatest university uh, in the world, which is Harvard, is named after some guy who was called Harvard maybe 400 or 500 years ago. Now, the question is, when we, when we want to subject everything that we have like isaiah was saying that for you if you have acquired some skill then first go back to the university to quantify uh your knowledge something like that but remember here you're just you you're subjecting that to to existing theories that were developed by some people some time back and and me that's that the argument i'm having again is that saying that uh if if someone is doing this and is doing it and it's working, probably the next question that you're asking, eh? then why do you need to again subject him to the to the to the theories that were developed 1,000 years ago? You understand, eh? Because mm. uh, if if you go to all these uh, these uh, these universities, these institutions, everything, eh? they're just based on certain. They're based on certain theories that were, that were scientifically discovered by then. But the question is, haven't we moved away from that? I'll give an example in economics. When you're studying economics, you find that the economics is, is basically about Adam Smith, about Keynesian, about these people like Robert Stro, who, who were there 1,000 or 2,000 years ago. The question, sorry, who are there maybe 400 or 500 years ago. The question is, haven't, hasn't economics evolved from, uh, from, uh, from then up to now? So if, if you get a, a person like Gordon Wavamno who has been having, uh, who has run his business successfully for 50 years, or, or Moses Matov who has handled the band for 50 years, eh? and, and, and then you say that this guy has done well and he has knowledge and skills of sustaining an institution, eh? Why does he need to go back to Makerere, be subjected to the laws of Adam Smith of economics when he has done his business for all this long? So that's uh, that's my argument on on that. What what's the importance of of of, of that being subjected to the to the theories of Adam Smith of four hundred years ago? Uh, yes. I don't know. Uh, hello? Yes, we can hear you. Y yes, is the host back? <laughs> I was only coming yes, in. No, oh. he's, he's driving. He's driving. Uh, he started the meeting when he was at the office, so he's driving now. You can yes, continue I moderating before you can. can. Yes, uh, yes uh, Mr. Asimwe, you, in, in your words, you, you keep on saying going back, going back. But the, the, the speaker before you did, or the, the, the speaker before you, never said going back if i quote him right if i remember he said um, and he never said subjecting him to the exiting he said go and present go and present that which you have called skill that to the academic to the academic did i get you right yes exactly that's what i said yeah, yeah go uh -huh. because because the speaker used an example of uh traditional African religion, which has no process, the, the, the process documented. So we would like to have the, the, the traditional uh, religionist or the traditional theologian, African theologian, to help us put this process to test. We are not, we, we don't, would not like to, to subject them to the, what you have called old, okay? But, but we'd like them to to, to bring that which they have so that we examine it. Number one. Number two, it is not, it is not true that since it is old, it is obsolete. But still, it is not true that since it is old, therefore, it is great. So we are saying old or new must be subject, uh, must be brought to the test. I think that's I, I think that's what the the pre-current speaker said. 
until that Peter, my what I want to understand is uh, maybe if I'm not because a test, eh? when you when you're doing a test, uh, there's uh, there's there's uh, the materials that you use to test. The set criteria. The criteria, mm -hmm. yes. Aha. Uh -huh. So who determines that criteria? Is it the who did okay? Who determines the criteria for the testing? Maybe then I can start from there. The, 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 the one who is skilled. Who is that? Skilled in what? That, for instance, that lawyer in Kenya mm -hmm. should, uh, should go to the university mm -hmm. and present to them a paper mm -hmm. on how to win 26 cases mm -hmm. without a law degree. And from that point on, mm. the law degrees in Kenya are going to be reviewed based on, uh, on, 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 on this lawyer's criteria. Mm. Same thing with Wava Munno and uh, mm. Moses Mato. Mm. Should storm the management inst institute at the university mm. and demonstrate new managerial and dynamic or modern managerial skills. Uh -huh, to those institutions. And now my question is, what, mm. what is that helping? Uh, is that is that is that supposed to to help? Okay, what is that supposed to do? Huh. What that is supposed to do is to make sure that we have more wavamunos and more lawyers like that boy. So how about if wavamuno sets up? How about if wavamuno? It starts up an apprenticeship course at his at his spear house. Exactly. Still, uh -huh. still what still what Wavamuno is doing, uh -huh. he has just started another academic environment. And that's what we are saying. Now you see the problem with he has that. just started another institution. Exactly. The problem with that. that, that yes. The problem, the problem with that. Eh? Musa, Musa Bode. Hundred years, hundred years after that. Hundred years yeah. after that, eh? Yes. You yeah. find that for you to be employed in 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 new vision, you need to yes. have you need to have gone to Avamno's institution. But and, 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 and let me ask thing. what is the problem with that? Aha, uh -huh. now this is where the problem is. I'll give you an I will yeah. still now come back to now. Let me use my profession as an accountant. I belong to a body called SCCA. Now SCCA started like that. Someone has skills, and uh, then you come and I train your accounting. Now, right now, as I speak in Uganda, for you to get a job of an accountant, you 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 have to be a member of that mm. body. But at that time, mm. when we were chatting on WhatsApp, we have Francis, eh, who is actually not a member. Mm. Francis cannot even can, cannot cannot qualified to work in an organization here because he doesn't have that what okay that is not a member to that body question mm. is francis good in accounting or is not he is good exactly so ben if, if wavamno starts imparting that knowledge wait wait a bit if wavamno starts imparting that managerial knowledge now this is 2023 50 years from now they will start saying that each ceo is supposed to have what is supposed to 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 study from Wavamno's place. But the question is, when Wavamno became a great CEO, did he study that course that is that is that that is being forced on people to be like him? Now, 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 Petson, you are you are you are actually asking a different question in uh, in this in this question, and, this, and the question is, uh, isn't there an academic colonialism? My answer is yes. Is academic colonials. Recently, we are discussing with Peter the the uh, the rhetorical theory, the uh, as uh, as as rhetorical theory, and we are looking at uh, at, at the four aspects of the uh, Aristotelian uh, rhetorical theory. And then I was uh, I was discussing with Professor Peter and telling him that uh, we have a problem that. Uh, Almost ninety or ninety-seven percent of all the books that we are reading uh, are Western, and uh, 
98% uh, of Western books have drunk from the Greek philosophy. But uh, philosophy was not born in, in Greece. The philosophy was everywhere. We have done that. So in case you're asking from that angle, Mr. Peterson, I can assure you, I agree with you. There is what I call uh, academic colonialism and imperialism. That I agree. However, let us go back to what we're saying. Why doesn't Wavamuno want to discuss his managerial skills with the, with the management professors at institutions so that we can come up with the new management course and teachings and approaches? That is the, the idea. Isaiah, That's the idea. Isaiah, Isaiah, the question is, eh, yeah, Vamno, where did Wavamuno learn that from? That uh, you no, want to teach? No. That, no, that you it, want to teach it, to that you want to teach to to young people now. It it you see where where he learned it from is not a question uh -huh. for now. What we are concerned uh -huh. with is what Wavamundo knows. Can he explain what he knows and what he does? That's the question. Uh -huh. that one is okay. Uh -huh. Now the, the uh -huh. biggest the biggest problem is that when 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 Wavamundo discusses with those professors, eh, then that is yes. going to end up becoming an academic program where they will say that for you to qualify to be a manager, you will have to have this academic program. And, 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 and I challenge members of SCCA, like you, isn't it? Yes. I challenge members of SCCA to sit down, because that is what we call a PhD, to sit down and come up with an alternative, better in accounting, better than SCCA. That is the rule of education. But you cannot stay in something and complain and do nothing about it. The, 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 the guy who invented SCEA or the, the man called Harvard that came up with Harvard University or who, who was named after Harvard University came up with something like that. Then let us have another one named Stanford or another one named Oxford. Let them do different things. But, but you are not going to be here uh, to, to, to stand here and this what you have not challenged. It is still in place. Move it. Move it. For instance, <laughs> let me get you. Uh, Isaiah. Yes, yes. Mm. yes I, I like to um uh get his more information he gave about that lawyer. More information he gave about that lawyer that the guy actually led to a lot of cases, people losing many cases. So what we are seeing in the press is that this guy who argued out 26 cases and won, but behind the scenes, there are a lot of cases which he lost. Probably this is why he was even got someone complained that he had lost a case, then they started digging deeper in him. Now, my point is, as long as you can prove beyond a reasonable doubt that your method works, okay? Now, this guy... Definitely, his method was not working because many other people lost. Here in these in these universities, they call people to give what we call keynote speaking speakers address on graduations. university, level of senior But they went started businesses were successful. They are billionaires. Their their earning of that money is unquestionable. So there is something that they have that they can actually talk to these graduates in business who are graduating with degrees with PhDs. They had the most great So we can, we don't need any people who can actually demonstrate ingeniously that they are they are able to prove to, to show other people oh. that it can be done. Oh, oh. Oh, yes, yes. I want please. to ask you. Mm -hmm. uh, if if you have attended the uh, if you have attended the seminars uh, where Wavamno was a keynote speaker, can you use that to get a job in Uganda? We're not. Of, I think you 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 you're not getting the submission. <laughs> because you, because, because you see, if not, you see what we're trying to say is that what you've said is that they have brought a keynote speaker who has taught you management, who has taught you all this and this. And you've been attending probably for one year or even three years. Or even you follow him on uh, now like Avshenga has, I think, three mentorship. What's why he teaches every weekend, every week. So my question is, why don't those things that you've talked about qualify people 
to be able to work in 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 uh, in those positions why do they have to go and say ah you need to have an mba for books auntie some institutions are still held into that cutting kugambi again that you know i think you know about this either google or amazon they don't they, they don't like university graduates or what you were senior four or senior six can you demonstrate what skill are you having and they'll give you a job and they'll pay you a hundred thousand dollars a year or based on what you can exactly. output exactly. yeah so some what i am and, arguing for yes what i'm saying is that there, there will always be a product but like you go start your thing demo i will go again what i said go start your thing demonstrate that it works prove that it can work the example that while say hello yo is not applicable in this case because we have been given information that there's a lot of behind the scenes cases that he lost so we cannot actually argue his case in this in you this see, type of Bob, 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 exam. Bob, we do not need to even attack that brother that he lost cases because apart from that brother there are others who are who have not lost and who have been successful in that but my last question as we we close this uh this question that has taken long to Peterson. Peterson, does skill work outside the structure or it works within a structure? Uh, what do you mean by structure? Thank you very much for asking. Does the Wavamun know managerial skills? Do they have a structure around them or they don't have a structure? Do they have the do's and don'ts? The starting, the scope, the extent? Yeah, they have. They have the do's and the don'ts. That is okay, exactly. That is what we're asking Wavamunno to write us a book on management. Are, are we asking too much? No, we are not asking too much. Good. So if yes. Wavamunno. <laughs> You're asking too much. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. okay. no, by the way, the, the, no. The, what you're asking for. Eh? He, yeah. he, 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 he has uh, he has written uh, he has written a book he has written yeah. a book using, and, uh, what, what uh, me what me my question that, hmm. uh, what my question uh, um uh, one the thing that we are we are we are we are what me I want to bring the point is this right yes. we have uh, a very rich young man called Ham for him he even has two books eh about mm, yes. um, money and all that. Do you persistent? Because you're asking Wavamno to write a book, Ham has written one. Even Wavamno has two books. Eh? Now, me, I want, I want the argument I'm bringing is that uh, someone who has gone to MOOCs and studied for three years, Theore is studying Adam Smith and uh, and Kynesian. And you have a guy here who has studied Wavamno. He has his books. And that is what we're asking. Who can... No, we are asking Peterson, you're missing the point. You really take a lot yeah. of our time, Peterson. We you are missing the point. We are asking Wavamuno that since his, his managerial skills have a structure, let him demonstrate that structure to academic institutions or to the public. Yes. He has written a book on management. And the, the yes. example oh, yes. that you're giving for harm, harm is giving. Yeah advice to people who want to start their own businesses, not to go am, and seek not, employment. I am not sure Peterson has read either of those two books of her, because I've read one and he was reciting senior for commerce. <laughs> so seriously, <laughs> Mr. Mr. Simwe, please. <laughs> anyway, we need, we need to st uh, stop this question right here. I know it keeps coming back somehow. But we can stop here for now. I hope you can hear me. Can you? Yes, yes, we can. We'll come no, back. Thank you. Yeah, I see a couple of new people here. I want to give them a chance to ask a question before I go to Peter. Last week, Beatrice asked a question. It was the first time this week I see Amusima, who seems to have network challenges. Amusima, can you talk? Do you have a question for us? If you can't talk, then I'll give you a chance to Beatrice again because she was the first person to log in today. Beatrice, do you have a question? So I'm supposed to be, can I just ask a biblical question? Yes, please. <laughs> this is a this is a fellowship, by the way. <laughs> yeah. <it is. laughs> I thought I'd made that very clear. <laughs> please, please ask, ask. 
so uh, there's uh, this scripture in the Bible. I think it's in James chapter 2, verse 26, oh. that uh, says, For as the body without the spirit is dead, so faith without works is dead also. Uh -huh. So my question is, what are these works? Like, is it... What are these works like? What what are these actions? Because some some uh some uh, versions say actions. So is it uh, that uh, if I want to, for instance, uh, excel, like if I want to have a first class, hmm, do I have to sow a seed to get it? Or the actions they're talking about are like the corresponding actions, like uh. If, for instance, I'm sick I, and I just wake up and I'm like, okay, I'm not sick. I should stand up, go leave the room and go and do my business like I'm supposed to do, like have my my uh, daily routine. I don't know. Is the question clear? I have got you. I don't know about the others. <laughs> uh, this is from, it's from James chapter 2, verse 26. Yes, like but, my question but, is, what are the actions they are referring to? Is it the good actions of giving, helping, uh, reading the Bible? Like, what are these actions? Or is it you exercising your faith to achieve whatever that you that you want to achieve, or or go through that situation that you're actually, um, uh, like going through? What what exactly are these actions? So I don't know if that question has made sense to you. And the rest? Yeah. I, yes, I think it has. I think it has. Okay. Uh, this one, this one, I want to start with stuff from Katunda Nicholas. <laughs> James chapter two. That is a very famous chapter <laughs> for some religions. <laughs> Nicholas, do you want to answer Petrus's question? She's asking about James two twenty six, but I know there's a context to. It. I mean, if you read the whole chapter, you'd know what he's talking about. So, do you want to attempt? Uh, Chair, thank you for the opportunity. Unfortunate, my head is aching. Hey. Uh, let, let me just listen. Not aching as in sickness, but exhausted. I see. Don't you have don't you have faith? Do some work. <laughs> <laughs> that is when your faith kicks in and you do this work of talking. <laughs> in fact, let me listen to the where, where, yeah. where is FB on that matter? Because she's the professional of, of the faith, spirit, and seeding. Hey, by the way, FB, the, the verse about faith without works is dead. What what does it mean? Actually, FB is a good one. Today you are not driving, so there's no excuse, eh? Be. I'm also like Chita from Katonda. Okay, okay, chair, let me say something. Please. Katonda with them. <laughs> yeah, let, let me say something, then a bill or supplement. Uh, mm. In the Bible, the subject of faith is handled at two different levels. One, we have this uh, faith uh, in salvation and faith in uh, our daily interaction and uh, routine. So the first one, faith in our salvation requires no work. That one is very clear. But uh, the context of James is uh, in regard to our relationship. Uh, I think it James is telling us if somebody comes and is hungry, instead of telling that person to pray for you, give him what to eat. Or if somebody needs support, support him. That is the, the kind of faith. He, he's talking about faith without works is dead. Not the faith of salvation. 
but when Karanz talks about a desire, a uh, Karanz sorry, talks of a desire to be to get a first class, and he have faith. Then this one resonates well with James's faith. That is, work hard, read, attend lectures, and probably, probably, <laughs> you'll get there. It has nothing to do with manipulating events in your favor. If uh, if it requires manipulating your faith, then you are you are gone. You're lost. You are off faith. You are on course of another probability faith. Yeah, chair, that's what I can say. Okay, thank you. Adson. Yes, Ebi, now that Chitafi Mkatunda has spoken, surely Katerinyo Terikuruma now is all But as you prepare yourself, I think Chitafi Mkatunda has said there are two types of faith in the Bible. The first one is our salvific faith, faith for salvation which does not require any works. And the second one is the charity of James, James chapter two, which charity is how we solve other people's problems as well as our own problems. That's that's my deduction from the submission. Maybe can you talk? How about things like fasting for something, going to a prayer mountain for something? Yes, that you know? exactly. Uh, those, those types of things, walking from Rukunjiri to Namugongo, that that you know that Uganda matters will do something for you, as some people believe. You know, those, those kinds of works is in that exercising faith. I think that is Beatrice's question. If I do something to oh. show that my what what is what is inside me is, is an outside manifestation of what is inside. If I walk from Gulu to Namugongo, if I fast for forty days, if I if I'm sick and I just pray away the sickness, is in that exercising faith with my works. I hope I've, I've put it correctly. Okay, you want yes. to add, add on something? Mm. Yes, Chair. I, I think that is faith number three, but not a biblical per se. That hey. is faith in one who's works. That is if you believe that you are strong enough to move mountains, then uh, that is your own faith, not faith in God, not faith in Jesus, not faith in the power of God. That is faith in the power of self. Uh, if you can, uh, like today we were coming from uh, lunch time and we were listening to a testimony on one of the radios and somebody said they had trouble, so they prayed, they woke up in the morning and prayed and, uh, and cast demons uh, uh, and by the end, the demons had gone. So I said, in such instances, then it is not Jesus, it is that person who has done all those. If, if your faith tells you to do something for it to be effective, then it is not the faith that I know. That is something else. The fasting things that you go to the mountain and fast so that you can get an A in Peter's paper, that is faith in yourself. It has nothing to do with God. I submit here. Okay, thank you. Yeah, of course, the big question then to ask is, does faith need evidence? Is faith the opposite of evidence? Or does evidence support faith? Or is there another word called trust that we need to rely upon here? Th those are some of the questions I can think about as we discuss this topic. What is this animal called faith anyway? Is it something, <laughs> is it believing something in spite of the evidence before you? Is it believing something because of the evidence before you? I mean, I think we also need to go go there. Mm -hmm. Peter, you've been a bit oh okay. Can let me start with Bob. Like let me start with Bob. Let me start with yeah. Bob. Mm. Yeah, so I would like to pick, pick it from where Chatham Katonda left. Uh, and for me, the question here is faith in what? Okay. If if someone can answer that question, then uh the, the, the answer to the answer to what we are trying to look for becomes is what do you have faith in? Okay. Uh, a, a kid has faith in, in his father that if he he jumps off a, a high a high level or cliff and the dad is down, he has faith that the dad will 
will hold him and the guy will not crush his head on the ground. So, what do you have faith in? Okay. If you are a student at university and you have faith that when you read, uh, you will pass, uh, then you have to read. You have to exercise that faith. You read and you and then you you exercise, you will pass but if you have faith that if you that you when you read you pass and you don't read then your faith in the reading is dead so uh as christians we, we we ask that question what faith is being referred to by all these passages for us who have who have faith in jesus christ and what he did for us okay uh we, we are a group of people who who, who accept uh, that faith that there's nothing much we can do to please God, to earn God's uh, uh, righteousness, but the faith we have in Christ puts us there. Now, there are other people who have faith in themselves doing their, their work to please God. So they, they believe that they can have, they can do all this ABC and God will please, they will please God. So they choose to take that path. So for me, the issue is answering what kind of faith. So because you have faith in Jesus, it means that uh, you, you are following him. You, you accept what he did and, and his teachings. Okay. Then you love others. Then you, you know, that faith in him uh, kind of uh, overflows. And, and 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 is shown in your actions okay because in his teaching he said you know uh love your neighbor he said do this then you follow through okay so it is on who what do you have faith in and then the actions that follow uh show the result of, of what you believe in so for me that is my definition that is that is that is the anger i wanted to bring it in that we need to understand the who or, or the what of, of of where we are basing this faith from. Okay, thank you. Mm, uh, Peter, you've been quiet, so I'm going to bring you in next. I have a friend, okay, not a friend, <laughs> a friend of a friend who said, I think this was 2020, yeah, she said, I am believing in God for marriage this year. This was around January after the end of year, you know, those end of year prayer sessions. She said, I'm believing God for a husband this year and a marriage and meanwhile she's not dating so i'm going to go and buy a wedding gown and i'm going to go and book a wedding venue okay she, she was <laughs> i think in, in bob's definition that's that's what she was trying to do walking walking the talk exercising her faith in i mean if, if you're not dating in january and you expect a wedding by maybe june or december and you actually proceed to buy a wedding gown and book a wedding venue and so on. Isn't that being exactly what Bob has said? Tom, your hand is up. Do you want to respond? Uh, 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 did I say that? No, no, no. I, I was just trying to demonstrate. <laughs> but let, let Tom first say something. You know, I uh, just want to make about. a quick comment. Did the wedding happen? No, it did not happen. This is three years later. Of course, Auntie Mia. What are you saying? Of course, what are you saying? Of course not. Guys, guys, guys. Guys. Sorry, now we did. <laughs> but yeah. I don't remember. Yeah. The one thing that happened, and, happen, and it's been three years later. Oh, please leave my teaching aid alone. Go back to the main point. Yes, Tom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, man, man, expectations. Is, man is very innovative and creative. Mm -hmm. that, uh, that 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 man can in, 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 in invent his own god he can also invent how to worship that god uh, 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 and and uh, man may extend this by 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 by, by, means, by, by man's own will mm. so so as we as we as we as we as we as we, we we live in this Christian journey, we should know that man can impose his own will onto God. That this is God's will, and this is how we should worship Him. Yeah, that's the moderator. Mm, very very good submission. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, uh, Peter, you've been quiet today. 
you need to exercise your faith with your works of talking. Can you say something? Hello. Yes. Hello. Yeah, yes, I Peter. Think, uh, yes, I, I think uh, Bishop Isaac has ably responded to this question. I, as far as context is concerned, uh, Bishop Isaac has ably responded to the question. The context is very important. Now, because I know the person who asked, I, I want to overemphasize that, that the context is very important. Context here means who was saying, to whom primarily was he saying, uh, what do they believe, and what, what was the subject? What was the subject of the talk, and what was the message? Those four questions, uh, uh, those four questions Isaac has ably answered. I only want to emphasize one thing uh, when when you think when you think you want to obtain something start acting even when you don't have tangibilities when you think when you desire when you choose to chase after something get up Start acting, start acting, even when you don't have tangibility. For, for example, if you want an A, if you like an A, and you believe and desire you can get it, get up and do, start acting, start acting, and, all right? Start acting on what, in your desire, act on your thought. Okay, and when you do that, when you do that, um, you might Mr. succeed. Mr. Hello, hello. Mr. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you loud and clear. Isn't Beatrice praying for Professor Selvide to give her an A, part of acting? <laughs> And she has uh, laughed out very loudly. Part of what? <laughs> Acting. Part of working faith. Faith that works. I I, I doubt I, I doubt whether prayer is part. I, I, I doubt whether prayer is part. Probably it could be. I it could probably it could be. <laughs> I'd like to submit. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Petro. Uh, let me go to Petson. Petson, do you want uh, to say me, something? Me, I'm waiting for you to change the topic. <laughs> Petson, what sort of... <laughs> because there's no violence in this one, so you're sitting it out. Anyway, that's fine. Isaiah, let me cross over to you. Let me oh, start it's... by be, being unfair to you. Before you go to J James chapter 2 within the, the question and the context, how did first... I just give us a working definition of faith, or at least attempt a definition. Or a description of faith. Is it belief without evidence? Is it belief in spite of the evidence? Is it mm -hmm. blind blind like I can't use faith to define faith, but is it blind faith? Like I just yeah. attempted definition, yeah, before you go into the question. Yeah. And differentiate it from let's go on. Yes. Moderator, you uh I am uh... Can I, can I not give you a definition, but demonstrate using the, the key verse of this yeah, question? Sure. Sure, okay. sure. So, so guys, in case you are close to your Bible, uh, if you don't mind, I want you to look at the verse that Beatrice uh, 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 gave us, where it all started. Because but, for James me, I'm a chapter lifetime, 2, verse 26. Yes. Mm. For me, I'm a lifetime Bible student, and, uh, and I like looking at the text. That's what I like. I, I don't just read the Bible. I look at the text. I look at them. So I would like, uh, because I know all of you know how to read, you know, uh, can you please look at the text and, and, and listen what the text says? And, and, and don't, don't forget that um, I am demonstrating what faith is, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> now, look at the text. For as the body apart from the spirit is dead, 
So faith apart from works is dead. Is anyone looking at that text? Yes, I am. Now, let me... Which let translation? Me... James chapter 2, verse 26. Which my translation, translation? Which translation? My translation is RSV. My, mine is RSV. Okay. I don't know what you have. You could read, you could read uh, us what you are saying there. No, I think I'm using NKJV. It's okay. It's the same. Okay. The same. No, okay, good, great. Now, now, ladies and gentlemen, when you look at that verse, it is very interesting in my attempt to demonstrate what faith is. Let me ask you a question. Is it true that the body is dead apart from the spirit? If you don't have background noise, please switch on your microphone. <laughs> it might take us into the definition of spirit now. <laughs> Before we answer your question. Hmm? No. <laughs> because, because okay, according to the text, yes. Uh -huh. According to the text. No, and now I am now asking according to reality because the text is referring to reality. Hmm. Because you see, the problem with us Christians is that uh, we read the Bible exclusive of all other revelations in the world. Is the body, because we have we have a medical doctor here, at least someone who is in who is in that biological side. We have Bob and uh, others, I don't know, because there are a little bit, maybe some new people here like Nathan Boyo, I don't know, I don't know their profession. But but do they clear someone scientifically dead, or do they clear, declare the body dead without the spirit? No. I hope I've not trashed through my answer, but, but and, no. and 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 and. Uh, Perhaps you're not alone because I'm also with you. I don't I think you to do. ask. Yes. What What do you mean by spirit now? Uh -huh. in, in your in, in in the question that you, you posed. Yeah, because 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 how, the human... how does a medical doctor assess? You, but you see, Becky, before we even go into the definitions of the spirit, we know two things. One, we know we know what constitutes a living body of a human being scientifically, don't we? And the spirit is not part of part of. Oh, anyway, according to my little science. That is number one. Number yes, two. Actually, actually. Ah, exactly. Number two, we know that uh, that uh, a human being is uh, is body, soul, and spirit. That is according to, to Thessalonians. I think it's chapter two. That we know. But when we are discussing the death of the body, because ladies and gentlemen, the, the, the Bible is not only speaking to you religious people. It is speaking also to scientists. I am asking as a scientist, is the body declared dead without the spirit? No. The answer, the answer is no. But we have a verse here that says that as the body is dead without the spirit. Just like in the same Bible we have uh, uh floods that covered the entire planet Earth. Mm. In the same Bible, we have a tower that almost reached heavens and passed levels of oxygen. Uh-huh, uh-huh. It is, it is from the same Bible that we have believers who believe God for marriage this year. And because you see, ones. we are dealing with a dead body without the spirit. Now, Mr. Moderator, have I demonstrated to you what faith is? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody should switch on their microphone. <laughs> <laughs> <Answer> there. <laughs> have, I, 
Tofayo ya kubitegera. Wakajia. Have I? <laughs> because faith is not in a vacuum. Mulekera, does, does everyone on the call today understand Uganda? Because I'll be using the two the two languages. I know. Beatrice, do you understand Uganda? And Nathan. So, 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 yes, I do. Yeah, you, okay. Yeah, we we should stop. We should stop distancing our our beliefs from reality. We, 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 should stop, we should stop facing our beliefs away from reality. We have a text here. When you look at it, it's very interesting. For as the body is dead apart from the spirit, is, is, this, is, this, is this faith again? Or it is science? Unless if you tell me that this is also faith. But if it is faith, why is it why is it abusing the example? Okay, if it is faith, is the body that we're talking about here a, 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 a spiritual body? Really not. Not. Because in, in context, what Tafi Mukatunda was trying to, to, to point at, in context, the, James is talking about human practical physical beings. So the body that he's talking about here is the body that we know. Does science say that the body is dead without the spirit? No, it doesn't. Exactly. But we have a text here that says that, you know, as the body is dead. Kakati basebo ne banyabo, monso nyiwe, o kubate geze nsonge, you know. Mubai buli muli mwebi obusiru. Ovuna ni zivua wao kwe kubiri kebera no tabi siku la busitusi. Kaka na tolo si bifu kabi ya busiru bifu kabi ya busiru bobi jamu konteksti ya biyo. Kide moicho. Kugamba mubai buri muri moe biyo busiru. Omani mumulo zamu no wenye biyo gera ladwe genda kungu wane dete genda kungu ya kufabi yangi ya kufabi yangi. Mubai buri, muri mwe vyo busiru. E vyo busiru e vyo. Bie yore kera dara. Gwe bota andi kukusoma bai buri. Novi jamu konteksti ya vyo. Novi tuwa labu kolo kolo nga wevidi. Katinota andi kukulo oza. Nti oku kiri za tekulo oza. Because I've heard many people in churches. We tell them, think about this thing. Ah, ah. This this is this is spiritual matters. Spiritual matters do not require reasoning. Spiritual matters do not require reasoning. In other words, when you when you believe God, you you suspend your head and you apply your heart. However, in the Bible, the heart is the center of the mind. And what do we mean by mind? Reasoning <laughs> and wisdom. So, so you asked me to 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 give you a a, a a definition of faith, really, and what we call Christian faith. Christian faith is reasonable faith. It is the ability to know what to investigate to believe, and what to believe so that you investigate in order to understand. It works like that. Come, come again with that statement. <laughs> Christian faith is the ability to understand what we investigate to believe. Okay? And what to believe so that we investigate. It is believing to know and knowing to believe. That is the epistemology of, of Christian faith. By epistemology, we mean how we know what we know. And how do we get to believe what we believe really? 
And for that, I'll just add, add a few things. One, uh, if you believe God for marriage this year, okay, you have just made a commitment to start dating. That is what mm. you have done. Hey, that, that, so that now, now you are in, in belief with the works. If you don't involve yourself into the dating field, you are just believing in a vacuum. It is a belief without works. It is there for day. Huh? <laughs> now I am putting James into perspective. Do you believe God for marriage? Yes. Uh -huh. Good. What kind, of, what kind of man do you need? Where can you find such men? How do you attempt them? You have started the process. That is your belief. Because you believe God for marriage. So you don't believe God for marriage and pray. I have told the people that, 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 that meet me in my prayer sessions and they ask me to pray for them. I, uh, I always tell them, first, you must learn to pray for yourself. Second, whatever we pray for, the next morning you do. Do not pray for anything that you are not willing to start on. If you pray for something, believe, believe in God, believe in God for a job, but you are not making an application anyway. Exactly. If you if you pray, if you pray, if you ask anything from God, anything from God, the next morning start. Start acting out your prayers. Because you see. That is how you're going to tell how God has answered you and how he has it. So ladies and gentlemen, Christian faith is not, is, is not, is not unreasonable. No, it is not. It is reasonable. So, 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 and I, I normally tell people, <laughs> if God is everywhere, and God is with you. Why are you traveling from Mumpiji to Karamoja for prayers? You see, there's a man of God with some holy holy water there. Yes. Exactly. Time he text my auntie Ex and my uh, auntie. Uh, exactly. I agree, I agree with you. My, my sister, my brother, I agree with you. However, I would like to remind you that the man of God is not worshipping the same God that you worship. Now, I'm trying to attempt the questions that we're asking in this discussion. Mm. I, I normally tell people that when I pray for you and things work, and they have not worked all the time that you have prayed, it is because me and you do not share that the same God. Number one. Number two. Now that they have worked, I have taken the place of God in your life and in your heart. Neka techo mochi take it. Thank you. Uwan chi take mo ruli mi orwe wafi. Owa yowa. I would da wo ni awo. Now that now that it. It has worked. Yes. After, after me having prayed yes. for you, for e. you. E. Hence, hence. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That is why you hear people say, "Oh, oh, you're saying you're not anointing. Oh, you're saying you're going to jump with number one musumba. Jump with number one musumba. That you're musumba. You're coming up. You're not." Peter, you have background noise. Mm. Go this on, is the problem. This is the problem. And yet we claim we all have faith in this God. Bobo, you know, kukiriza mkatu ondo ono. Waji go saba no mugamba. Siku gana. Kuita mtu mulala musabe muembi. Echo nchikiriza musabi muembi. Now, musabi muembi is different from gansabi. But 
churches have turned out to be like 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 medical centers and pastors are now medical workers. The reason as to why I consult uh, Dr. Enok Muyanja as, as far as the viruses are concerned, it is because Dr. Enok Muyanja, your viruses are money. And I will want it again. Never say what never knew. Two sins are cut under you. Kakatikari, oh many, I carry two sins are cut under you. Money, you musumba one. Oh, two. Cut is a chief full of musumba or chi. A chief full of musumba or chi, you know, or cousin of Muge de Mokolagani. Never chimanga will walk in or call a gana necatondo, or will summons or enough with your one. Then it takes, I am still between you and your God on every matter. Hmm, 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 hmm. On every matter, really. Orobona ke langa tori wo. Katunda wa katunda wa katunda wa jaku batari wo. Ii, kuanga katunda watari wo mnu ya foka mu katunda wo. Kati go kati go agama mo kirisa. You have faith. Kati go faith ye di mo ani. Ye di mo katunda sister. Ye di mo katunda brother. Ye di mo pastor wo. Katinzabiba gamba, ndi musumba ya gala abantu wa abandi nga wali maso gange bakunganye sente nyingi bazimpe nga kawali. Katuloza wachi musumba utapi kugamba, wachi ta kugamba ziri kugamba. Mbaibuli ilu. Mwadole tazikiliza mba sumire yecha wali. Soma. Ichi ni wana chigamba. Chiri muhibros. Chiri muhibros, chigamba. Hebrews chapter 1, verse 1. In many and various ways, God spoke of old to our fathers by the prophets. Verse 2. But in these days, he has spoken to us by a son, whom he appointed the heir of all things, through whom also he created the world. Enda katuonda, wabanga wabali wakatiwe, na wabantubi. Wachibu wagamba chukiriza katuonda, wakatiwe wali uo mtu uyu. Mwanyi, he is the anointed man of God. He is the anointed man of God. <laughs> Bible ye mwega, echandi kwa kwa chisuma. And there is no any other anointing than that of Christ. Peter, Peter where is that verse yet was on? Irimu Ephesians. Eleke irimu Ephesians. Peter kwa namba ulita chakwenji. Mere irimu Ephesians. E kama ti, te wali wa anointing indala. Na ye mba lawa bulika sera. Nga muke ndewa wa basuma, nga baba siga mafuti. O bubu samize. Mubusami ze mwoka. Mwe mwasigala. Abantu wabali wakati waba. Antu necho cheba sinza. Mubusami ze mwoka. Sipe kurisitia nite tugamba. Nti katonda ya jawa echi sengeye njini yetu. Kila katibuli mungu wa yogira na ye. Chovula wa Petero ya gamba. Nti mwena Petero chapter 3. Nti mwena kakati. Muli wakabona bange. Zio sumbulaji pumanya kanga nyonge na kupurist. Kuna pete la gani mwenye muri bakabona? Ama ama nzuki nusu kwenye na muri bakabona. Mwenye na yaba bantu chia bala ba ngaba no nyaka bona ai mire wakati iwa wenye katunda. Basi wana mnyama bo muina chemoa kula katunda. Mume tunde mo demo mo kani. Omuto wata bagani ona vero. Nakata wa nubwa laba, ngaba wewe kundu vye kumi. Kato ndaba uo mkisa. Ngaba wewe labo, kato ndaba uo mkisa. Ngaba kula zi sadaka. Ezebi nitu nekumubili jawe. Neba siwa, neba saba. Kato nda kilize. Mwa mkula chumu msa jono kwe mkiliza. Nga mweta aga kula viko wabi nabiyo nabiyo na. Mwa kula chumu msa jono. Wanga Bible mujisoma, te mujitunuli de. As the body is dead apart from the spirit. Is the body dead apart from the spirit? Which body? Mm. 
moderator ngademba saba abantu bona bona bateke muko kumanyi okwesumira ekigambo kya katonda namba 2 mbega yiri de bana katonda abagala katonda abagala katonda abagala nga mweisa bulunji nga muri ne mpisa katonda abagala nga mweisa bubi nga muri ne mize katonda abagala mumukirize omanyi basimo ne banyabo abantu bali mu madini abantu bakiriza dini yawe na bakuru be dini zawe te banna bakukiriza katunda te banna ba bwe bana mukiriza bajja kulabanga abakolira abantu diamond ziba tuga abasumba bawe ne bakabona bawe ne bale vrandi bawe ne babagamba muza kutuze kubanga tokiriza atendo munange batufu atika katibo bokiriza ngomanyi faith chechi kubanga ekigambo kyenda gane kadde echa 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 echivunulwa faith in the old testament the hebrew word is emuna Emuna. Emuna has nothing to do with the conceptual ideologies. Mokiriza katuna. Hey, mokiriza. It has nothing to do with that. Emuna is, is actually defined in John chapter 15. Yes, we are gamba. Abide in me. Abide in me. It is firmness and faithfulness of belonging. Not even just position, abiding means not just position, but relational. It is Eastern mysticism of belief. Bakuigiriza o kukwali na muma yengoga universe. The law of attraction. Jiba ita faith. Yogera nebi saying be very well. Speak things into existence. That is the law of attraction. That is not the Christian faith. Olimu wade. Uli yogurumi. Gama tisu uli da gurumi. Echo guru wocho yogera ngo yogera nyo. Nga kemiko zizitu ka mubiri. Walu wako gundi. Nena yu deba zita. Walu wako gundi ya zika mubiri ko. Peini ne guwao. Mpanyi. Mpanyi. Naduka. Mosumba. Mboru njiriru wabado nunyaru limu wako jinsa echo kuli ya sule. Moru wabili moru mo. Now the one who makes us. Mm. And you as well, secure in union with the Messiah, mm. and has anointed us in God. Over way. Ah, ah, ah. Or you anointed it. The girl who gave no queer and got put to. Oh, what was that music? Bubu kiriza yes. Or you anointed. By no queer, I'm a footer. Bunga bari mukudi anjaba. Ei zaba kuyunga bakorachi. Era James aga manti abakade mo ne muge na muksa vida balo de mupai buri mochiri James bo muge na muksa vida balo de mupai sabi ngamba sidi ngana mafuta chicha agamba jito saba busabi muko ni ne massage bo muzi anje ne mo uiro bo abaira wachi bo uiro wa mikisa bo bagula mu supermarket moderate chisa mbayo. Bana nge guli mtuye na yena alimu viziku. Nguli mu viziku yabiyo tumabiganyi. Njaka lo kujukiza. Ntite wali wa shortcut. Nchide mwejo? Chide mwejo. Guli mtuye na nguli mu viziku yabiyo tumabiku nyegiriza. Njaka lo kujukiza. Nganze muno. Gwe mwoli na yemu viziku. Njaka lo kujukiza. Te wali wa shortcut. Kakati likira wakuruuza. Nchi wakenda kwe soku saba na oku siba. Uwe kava ibizi ubi itewo. Uwa nga nga genzo kunyua kenge wera vile. Exactly. 
Bugenda kutambulina. We still have the same. Ito genda gena kupurea mountain. Bulina kugende. You are not, kwa gamba, you cannot be so devotional and get rid of your problems with devotion. Tesi jakuba. Tesi jakuba. Nabagamba dewan. Bugenda mukani sa zafiz. Nabagamba Nola wabanta wa ujulizi kuli Sunday service. Wabanta wali mkuu ujulizi. Nebeba wa entebezo mu masa. Siwe bantu weba mu. Abega ilizi. Nchitide mwecho. Gubo 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 mkanisa za fezaba lukula abega ilizo wa manji. Haba siwa mchachi. Lunch hour. Uh, morning glory. Lunch hour. Ne evening glory. Ilai basaba. Abega ilizi mbala. Mm. Aha. Abo teba wabujuli zi wamu kama ya mko lepe. Aha, abo, nari, nari mpete mama inga mpuli ni njale mpua ala. Nari mkama mpete, sara, na mpe chisasara ni nji marayo kwe wujuli zi wawo. Aba wabujuli zi, beba jia kusande neba saba. Ena kuzino umukaga neba genda neba, neba kora beba sabi. Abo beba wabujuli zi. Hebi yote mwagala kubihuli na mwagala majiki. Mwagala busamize. Mwakama hankore le. Mwakama abeke chifu cha hankore la. Mwakama mwagala kumandu. Hebi mwagala busamize. Mwakama si katuonda. Katuonda ya tuonda nsi. Naateka mwe miti. Naateka mwa mwe 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 nsi kwa yakura. Mwumuli ya mwamu saji yonu. Ya jikola watu nga yagala tupede ukubi ya magiri. Mwakama msayansi musome. Mwakama mwe nsi kwa yakura. Mwakama mwe geology. Mwakama mwe nsi ya ground kwa yakura. This world has a designer, and that designer is intentional. Nenewe tuwa tuwa gira tulo kwa katutia. Eche kitafe mkatonda chia sume sezamu na chika bidi. Tulo kwa kwa wetu. Tulo kwa kwa wachisa. Kuita mkwa kiliza. So siru wabiko wabi ya mateka. Omu mtuye nata balimba. Ndiyechi kwa wachia mateka. Obu ulizo obu unji na ukubila na mpise nunji. Bina chivigenda. Kukuro kura ku. Kwa hebi ni nako gula gau ni tusoke tumare meeting di yange nawe. Kwa hebi ya gula hebi ya gula kono na vintu ya. Mama bitu as your question been answered. Kasiru. Wow. Yeah. That was deep, right? Yeah, it was so deep. Hallelujah. I think I should also add Priestel King to my to my name. Yes, why not? <laughs> yes. Uh, Priest Beatrice, Karens. Yeah, Priest yeah, King Beatrice. <laughs> Otherwise, thank yep. you so much. It was so 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 teaching beyond what I had actually asked. Yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. Yeah, and <laughs> this stuff is recorded, so if you need an audio. But I'm also going to post it on YouTube tomorrow. I'll share the link. So please share with whoever if you feel needs to hear this. We have about five minutes to go. We cannot take another question. I just Hello? want maybe comments, reflections as we close. Yes, Peter. No, I wanted to introduce to you other students of mine. Oh, sure, sure. Uh, I'm Sima and Nathan, Nathan Boyo. Are belong to belong to Beatrice's group. Ah, it's good to have them yeah. here. Oh, okay. Welcome. We are blessed to have them here. Yeah, please, please invite others. We do this every Monday, six to eight p.m. If you have a question about life, about the Bible, about you know marriage, sex, you name it, we 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 attempt, we attempt uh, to respond to each of those questions. We don't claim to have all the answers, but we give our revelation as we have it, and then God continues to reveal himself to you individually. All right, so thank you all for joining, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to end it here. On Thursday, we are here again, 6 to 8, but Thursday we reserve for the top stories of the week. There we discuss a bit of politics, economics, and all the other things including Israel and Palestine and so on and so forth. Yeah. So for Monday, it's, it's purely Bible, theology, and belief. Thank you very much. May God bless you. Till we meet again, peace out. Bye.
Bye. God bless you.